Back to ABA exam review and let's learn ABA in 60 seconds. Today we're continuing with empiricism. What is empiricism? It's the practice of basing conclusions and interventions on objective observation and experimental data rather than on speculation, personal beliefs, or untested theories. In other words, this is what we call empirical evidence. We use evidence that we've gathered from experiments or observation rather than speculation or what we believe. Empiricism helps us make data-driven decisions. Treatment decisions are based on objective measurements and systematic observation. We keep coming back to those same words, measurement and observation, measurement and observation. We must use evidence-based practices, so interventions must be supported by research demonstrating their effectiveness. Now, if you have used a practice in the past that's been effective, then that can be empirical evidence that your practice is effective. Two examples, one, measuring tantrums, rather than saying a child seems more aggressive, we collect data on the frequency, duration, and intensity of tantrums before and after the intervention. So instead of saying this week the child is aggressive and after two weeks they were not aggressive, we now have frequency and duration and intensity data showing an objective change. Example two, testing intervention effectiveness. A teacher implements a token economy system and tracks how many completed assignments daily for weeks. We then use that graph as evidence of whether the intervention worked or not, rather than relying on subjective impressions.